Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to the new snapshot for Minecraft 1.9. This is 15W34B, and once again, we've got a lot of new features to talk about that are very divisive for the Minecraft community. That has kind of been the theme, though, so far for this update. 1.9, the controversial combat update. So this week's big new feature was the attack strength mechanic, and you can see a little glimpse of it there underneath my crosshairs, that sword. This was meant to counter click spam, and previously, in older versions of the game, if you were to click spam, you would do damage faster than your opponent and most likely win, but in 1.9, you do very little damage for clicking fast, and if you space it a little bit, you will get max damage by waiting for that meter to fill up. Now, please check out that last snapshot we just did if you want to see more about this new mechanic. We covered all the information, but... It has been very controversial, to say the least. The developers are very open, though, to constructive criticism and suggestions, so if you have ideas on how to improve this new mechanic, let them know. They've already added a few new things. First off, this is new for this snapshot, if you hit any type of mob, you'll now see they release these little doo-doo hearts here, and these are a nice feedback letting you know how much damage you're doing. So if you were to click spam, you're not going to see these hearts pop out because you're not doing any damage really. You're doing very little. And here you can see how long it takes to click spam something to death. It takes a long time, but you still get that knockback out. So if you are surrounded by a group, do not be afraid to click spam because you can at least knock them back until you're ready to do that decisive blow. But as you can see, if I space these out and do that more damage, then you get to see those little hearts. I don't know if I uh, necessarily like the idea of the hearts, though. I know they're a different color from the happy red of animals breeding, but it still makes me think that the zombies here are, like, loving the fact that I'm slicing them up. It's a little odd. I'd like to see something else. There's a good idea. If you want to suggest a, uh, a different symbol, there you go. That's something the developers are probably very happy to hear. Uh, I know a lot of RPGs, they have numbers pop up when you do damage, so that could work. I don't know if that would fit with Minecraft, though. It seems like that'd be weird to see numbers pop out of monsters. And you can see the little symbol over here. It's called Damage Indicator. It's the new particle. And I can just, you know, use my, my new grape-flavored command block to just pop those out everywhere. But yeah, that's a nice new bit of feedback. The other new mechanic for attack strength is this new attribute you can see over here on weapons and most tools. It's called Attack Speed. And this tells you how fast you can get that max damage. So for swords, pickaxes, and shovels, you have to wait about 0.8 seconds. So it's pretty quick to get that back. Punching in most items is very quick. It's almost instant. It's like a quarter of a second. But swords, pickaxes, and shovels is a little slower. Axes are by far the slowest, though. You can see they have a different attack speed value. That means you have to wait 1.25 seconds to hit with an axe. But the idea here is that axes in future snapshots are going to be able to be used for utility. You can break through shields with them, most likely. And I really like this. This does open the door for different types of weapons with this new mechanic. Probably my favorite part about this is that we might be able to get daggers and spears and things and have them actually have a use. We won't just see everyone using swords and bows to attack. There's going to be more variety in what we use. And this attack speed is also changed depending on mining fatigue as well as haste. So you can see I have mining fatigue here. It's making me hit a little bit slower than I would. But if we put haste on, you actually attack faster. It fills up a lot faster there. So it's nice that these have a better use now, so be careful if you're going into those ocean monuments, the Elder Guardian can put that mining fatigue and you'll attack slower. But on the other hand, if you have a beacon with haste, it is a lot more useful now to defend your base because you can attack faster than those attacking you. But it's, uh, it's nice though that those are actually more useful now with this new mechanic. Now here is the big feature in this snapshot that a lot of people are not gonna like. So now armor takes durability as it does before, but it also degrades in its effectiveness as it gets damaged. So you can see a full suit of diamond has 10 armor value. That's like the max there. But as it takes durability damage, you can see it goes down to nine. These buckets I'm just using to symbolize how many symbols there we have for armor. So we've got this one with even more damage. It goes down to eight. And there's a bug right now where once it goes below half durability, it reduces it to half an armor point. So you can see it jumps down to five and a half, and then all of these are broken past halfway, so it goes down to only two points. So that's a bug that I think they're gonna fix. But the idea, though, is that as your armor becomes damaged, it will do less to protect you, which makes sense. It's, it's more realistic that way. Minecraft has never really been about realism, necessarily, though. You can't, you know, 
carry a giant stack of, uh, of gold blocks that would weigh like tons and tons. But, <laughs> but yeah, things like that. It's a little strange that they're adding that, but I do think it's probably in conjunction with this new mechanic because if armor isn't as effective, it's gonna mean that skill in PvP, not click spamming or just grabbing the diamonds first is, is gonna result in victory. So if you have more skill with how you go about attacking, you'll probably be able to beat someone with better armor because it's not always gonna provide the best protection. Also, I think it just makes the game a little more difficult in general. You have to repair your stuff more, gives you more reward for actually seeking out diamonds and, and materials like that. So it's a trade-off. If you don't like it, definitely let them know and suggest maybe an alternative to that sort of thing. Now, command blocks, this is a really cool feature. If you're not used to using command blocks, and even if you are, this is amazing. You can now auto-complete, just like you would in the text. You can use tab, and it will auto-complete whatever you're typing. And that is a lot faster. It's going to speed up being able to put in commands and make it so much easier. You don't have to look stuff up as much anymore. You can just use that tab. That's a nice quality of life feature. But on top of that, we have these new settings. There's one here, unconditional and conditional. Now, unconditional is just normal as we know it. If you set it to conditional, though, it means this command will only activate if a command block next to it, feeding into it, has been successfully executed. So this is a nice little way of setting up different commands that you, you don't have to use a lot of redstone and spawning in blocks and different comparators and stuff like that to set up these commands. It's a lot more compact. And this means for adventure maps, minigames, servers, it'll be a lot easier to run those without stressing the server or you know having to take up as much space. So even if you're not a map maker, I think that is definitely nice to have in. Minecarts with command blocks also have the new texture here with these pointed and round panels. So that's nice, they updated that and the little lights flash, all special. And giants, as you can see, I was, uh, I was clicking at this guy a while showing my uh, posturing shows of strength in his face, but not actually hitting him. This is the giant, he's back again. The last snapshot, if you watched that, you saw giants would not render their model in, they were invisible, but they have returned now. I think it was just because zombies got a little bit of a change with their arms. Oops, didn't mean to do that, sorry buddy. But you saw those hearts there again. So yeah, giants are back in. Who knows if they're actually gonna do anything with them, give them their own texture, make them a naturally occurring mob. I'd love to see them be a new type of boss. But who knows, at least it's nice that they haven't forgotten about them and they're keeping them in the game for anyone who uses them on maps and things. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys, this is an awesome shield made by Tokan72 on Reddit. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to see how to make this. This is a really cool example of a shield that looks better as a shield than a banner. So if you watched our uh, snapshot video about the new shields, you saw that when you convert it from a banner to a shield, it shrinks the pixels down. So it doesn't quite look right usually. But the cool side about this is some designs that you couldn't make on the banners look a lot better on the shield. So you can see this dragon just looks a little weird and blurry on the banner, but when you shrink him down, he looks much better on the shield version. So people who are clever with their designs can make some nice things when they convert them onto those shields. So that's cool. So definitely check that out if you want a good shield design. I like it, it looks pretty awesome. Thank you guys again for watching. As always, definitely let the developers know, like I said, if you have any suggestions and try to be nice about it. I know you guys aren't gonna give them death threats or any of the stuff that I've seen them talk about, but some people have gone a little crazy because of these changes. You know, the developers, they're just trying to make combat a little bit different, more interesting, and of course, get rid of some of the problems like click spamming that we've had in the past. So they're trying their best and they're gonna find their way to a happy medium, hopefully. So please bear with them. Now, if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter, it's at Swimmingbird941. It's a good way to talk to me directly if you want to, you know, get in touch. And of course, I don't mention this very often, but if you want to subscribe, if you're seeing this randomly, then I do a lot of these Minecraft videos. I cover all the snapshots and play some other games too. So I do appreciate it. And thank you again to everyone who has already subscribed. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time for some more Minecraft.